I'm currently editing and there is a massive storm outside. You guys just missed some loud, long thunder. I get the spooks. Twinkie over here gets the spooks. So I might be a pluviophile, but that doesn't mean that I like tornadoes. <laughs> and for some reason I correlate lightning and thunder with tornadoes. So I have a little bit of anxiety. That's fine. So yeah, I'm just editing. I like to use iMovie on my phone because it's mobile. <laughs> I literally edit on the toilet. It doesn't matter, like in the car. I just, sometimes I'll edit literally just two minutes and it like all adds up throughout the day. That's just like the way I do it because I can't sit and edit for hours if I have to, if I have like a deadline, like Vlogmas, that's what I had to do. But if I can like spread out editing like throughout the day, of one video then that works for me because my attention span is bad but if I have to get it done like like I said vlogmas then I'll do it because I have to but it's like really hard so I'm just sitting here with the windows open um, it's 9 a.m. I have been awake for a couple hours now I've showered people have asked for like a morning routine but I can tell you like one thing um, it would be kind of boring but I can give it to you guys not this video though, because I would want to start it with like the cliche, like here I am waking up from my slumber. You know what I'm saying? You guys know those, those videos. I swear I've done one. I've done a few probably. While we're here folks, while we're here, my first book of the good old 2023, I'm no longer at a reading slump because of this book. Oh, it's not over here anymore. You guys are on my nightstand. And I think I moved that book because I finished it. But if you guys remember during Vlogmas, I was trying to get out of my reading slump and I'm officially out of it, thankfully. Um, I'm on page 134. A book like this, I can get done in like two seconds. And yes, I am literally using <laughs> an ad I got in the mail as my bookmark currently. <laughs> No, just embrace it, folks. So, so far, this book is okay. I don't want to, like, give spoilers. Um, I feel like it's too... I don't know. I like books with, like, twists and turns and, like, drama and, like, discoveries and stuff like that. And this book is just not it for me. And I think that's the reason why I don't read a lot of romance books, is like, strictly romance books, is because it's just too cliche you know exactly what's gonna happen if you can find me a romance book that has like craziness with it like verity by colleen hoover um layla by colleen hoover like things like that i'm down with but this it's just typical two girls falling in love um one is in a heterosexual marriage and she's like divorcing him now it, it's just too simple for me i don't know but i mean it's not horrible but it's not the best thing I've ever read in my life. All right, folks, we have a grocery haul. First things first, we got a rice cooker. I've never had one before from my remembrance, so I'm excited to give it a go. I got some fish sticks. You guys will be surprised that the ingredients for this is literally just Pollock, which is like a white uh, fish and then breadcrumb coating that's all that's in here you'd think that fish sticks was like a bunch of creepy stuff but no it's just white fish and breadcrumbs so me and Feline love this Feline makes um, tartar sauce which is actually really easy to make which is shocking so yeah delish so I used to eat these all the time and I haven't had them in forever it's mixed crackers the original party mix I don't know what any of these are called the times that I have had them, um, I did get them from like an Asian market. So yeah, it's actually really good though. And then I also got some wasabi peas, which I love having these. Got some chocolate milk and some regular milk. Got some garbage disposable, disposable, <laughs> disposal cleaner just to put in the um, sink because sometimes the sink, you know, it doesn't smell that great. So we got some of this to make it smell good. Got two things of sushi 
rice, which is like sticky rice, because we want to make our own like wannabe sushi bowls. Not sushi bowls, uh, what are they called? Poke. Like salmon poke bowl type style. We got two of these 100% grass fed uh, steaks. Feline was craving steaks. So we got some New York strip steak, which I'm excited to have. We got two of these chicken wings. Feline makes the best chicken wings ever. Maybe when she does it, I will vlog it. It is so good. Got some Vermont maple syrup breakfast sausage. Some Bob Evans pork sausage in Zesty Hot. With the steak, Feline wanted some potatoes, so we got the roasted garlic and rosemary potatoes. We got some wild salmon. It's already seasoned, naturally flavored smoky barbecue marinade. So I got two of these extra crispy, crispy crowns. It's seasoned shredded potatoes. They're like easy tater tots that you just have to put in the microwave. I like these in my breakfast quesadillas. Got some serrano peppers, got some shredded carrots, and some shredded radish. Got a thing of pineapple and strawberry, just cut up fruit. Got some Welch's fruit snacks and the island fruits. And then some Welch's juicefuls, which is kind of like a gusher, I guess you could say. Last but not least, some Ziploc baggies. And I just remembered we also got some fresh garlic. So this is currently what is happening. We're going through all of the cabinets, just everything. All right, you guys, so you just saw how it looked before, and now look. We did it, oh my god. It, seriously though, deep cleaning is one of my favorite hobbies. I will say it's stressful, but I love it. Now we have to sweep. We got it going, folks. We are making our poke bowls tonight, so I am so excited because I like to order them. Sadly, I am not allowed to have takeout right now, so I'm making the most of it. All right, so we have all of the ingredients doing their thing. Um, we are actually gonna pick, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> it's me. What are we staring at? We are staring at a Chick-fil-A cup with a brush in it. <laughs> Yes, this is a cup that we keep under the sink with a brush in it to clean the counters. It's weird. It's a thing. And I just had it laying out and I forgot about it. And I just wanted to make that clear because you guys know I'm doing like this no takeout situation type deal. And you guys are going to be like, um, but there's takeout. <laughs> it's actually just a cup we keep under the sink that I forgot to put back under the sink. So I know someone was gonna say something, there's gonna be screenshots and all this stuff, which I totally understand. I would be like, Amberlynn, um, excuse me, explain this. So I totally get that, but I just wanted to make it very clear. That is what you guys are about to see. And that green thing right there, just a brush. Okay, yeah, this cup, literally, I would say a few months old. <laughs> um, we are actually gonna pickle some cucumber and some onion in this white vinegar salt sugar situation <laughs> that Feline is making. Um, Feline's actually gonna have raw sushi, which, or why do I always say sushi? Salmon. And I'm actually cooking one of these. No, she's not having this. She's actually having um, kinds that you're able to eat raw, not this. I'm having a salmon mignon. Is that what it's called, babe? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's what I'm having. She's currently in the oven because that's how I like making her. And then we're going to have some radish, some carrots, scallion. I want some broccoli, avocado. I'm going to make like a sriracha mayo. Try to. The place where I get poke bowls, um, they put these wasabi peas in my poke bowl. And it's delicious. And... We have some edamame. So it's gonna be like a whole moment. I'm excited. So we also put some cucumbers, some garlic, and then some sesame seeds. Oh my God, it smells so freaking good. Gonna stir it. This is the salmon that she will be using. 
smoke Atlantic salmon. And I opened this and the smoke alarm went off. So that's fun. So everything is pretty much done. I just have to take my salmon out of the oven. Um, I put everything on a plate like this. So it's like a little assembly line. And I'm actually going to plate it for you guys. You guys can see um, exactly how I'm doing it. All right, it's time to build my bowl. We have the rice. So first things after the rice is my salmon, which I already shredded it up. Next is some steamed broccoli. This obviously isn't like a real poke bowl, so do not come for me. I'm just adding things that sound good and that I know I would enjoy in a bowl. Some radish, some carrots, some more carrots, some avocado, the pickled cucumber and onion, some edamame, some sriracha peas, which I'll put here and there. I meant to say, did I say wasabi peas? Oh, I meant to say wasabi peas. And then a dollop of sriracha mayo that I made. Hopefully it tastes good. Some scallion all around, which is like my favorite part. Some sesame seeds. And the tiniest bit of soy sauce. I'm just going to go over it like that. There is my homemade poke bowl. Wow. And there is Feline's. Hers is more aesthetic. Mine is more thrown together. Twinkie, you want some carrots? Okay. Oh my goodness. A healthy queen. Y'all, update on the poke bowl. It was 10 out of 10. I did not want it to end. It was the best poke bowl I have ever had. Like, takeout poke bowl comes nowhere near as good as this. Okay, so I just cut my hair. <laughs> yeah, I did. Don't be surprised. I do this randomly. I like to cut my split ends. I wish I would have showed you guys before. But she's so short now. Look. Oh my god. And I just use these scissors. Can you guys imagine? Thumbnail. Y'all want me to cut my hair so bad. So the first trim I did, because my hair was super thin, like it is really thin. Ever since I got a hysterectomy and I had to stop taking estrogen, my hair is so thin. So this is the first bit of hair. Like this was literally it. That was my tip. Like once I put it all together like this, that's how thin it was. And then I did another round and yeah. So in total, I cut this much. So some inches and it just feels so much better. It feels thicker, but lighter. Like, I can't explain it. It just feels so good. So now I'm just going to do what I always do. Put her up. Put her up. Okay, so I threw away the box. So I'm going to post a little picture here of what I'm talking about. So me and Feline were, you know, finding activities to do when I stopped doing Vlogmas. And we wanted to do some things together. And we both know Legos are expensive. So we got this off-brand... I don't know what this is it's just a different type of like building block on Amazon and we actually both got one and it's a Yoshi so we have it started <laughs> I want to show you so this is just like Yoshi's feet and the bottom of him so far isn't it so cute so she's also doing it and it's just something for you to do together and I think with Lego like Lego is number one Lego will always be number one but we know that Lego is expensive so <laughs> if I want to be a little cheaper um this was so much cheaper because with Lego I know this would run like 150 200 dollars but on Amazon it was only like 50 dollars for one and I just have them in my little baggies 
to separate them to make it easier and then it comes with this little like hammer because with these not only do they like go on like legos but there's like these little parts grooves do you see those those also interlock with each other those little grooves so yeah i just wanted to show you that because if you guys can't afford lego but you want to try legos and you want to do ones with like a lot of pieces because that's obviously what i prefer because it's more challenging then definitely do it but with like legos the instructions are a lot more clear it comes in a book this is my titanic lego instructions are a lot more clear but with the yoshi guy instructions are a lot harder a lot harder it just comes with this big instruction paper instead of like a book but i don't know it's fun and we both enjoy it it's, it's great stuff um i haven't given you guys an update on my titanic because i'm taking my time okay i'm still on book two bag 19. some bags actually have more than one bag but yeah so i've done probably about 30 bags so far on my titanic